Hey, this is Ashley, and you guys are watching Ashley Epidemic, and I wanted to talk to you about something that has been weighing on my mind a lot because I am a huge X1 fan. I am definitely a want it for sure. So let's just go ahead and get into talking a little bit about why X1 is being blocked from brand endorsements due to Mnet's rigging scandal. I'm gonna say sorry if I am looking a little bit off to the side, but I wanna make sure that I hit everything and I wrote down everything, so here, let's just let's just do this. Produce X 101 has been met with criticism since the show was first announced. From the extended contract length to the use of the X concept, and now from the Mnet rigging scandal, and the only people who are coming out on the losing end are X1. The one group of people who have nothing to do with the actual mess. X1 are a group of talented guys who have worked hard and are bearing the brunt of the controversy as brands like Innisfree, G Market, and others have decided to not pursue brand deals or even discuss them until the scandal has been resolved. A scandal which journalists and a small but vocal group of people seem to be dragging out as they are searching for their own truth. I'm going to break down the entire situation so that you can get a better understanding of the situation and why it is harmful to X1. And let me just say, at the end of the day, Mnet's handling of this situation is what's caused the entire issue. Produce X101 is the fourth season of the Produce line of competition shows by Mnet, which takes 101 trainees from many agencies and puts them together to compete to be one of an 11-member group. But in the case of Produce 48, that was a 12-member group. The group is divided, decided by public vote. Early in the season, votes are done online. However, for the final, there are both online and phone votes. The phone votes cost 100 won each and counted for seven regular votes. On July 19th, during Produce X 101's final, the results showed Kim Yo Han, Kim Woo Sook, Han Sing Woo, Song Hyung Jun, Cho Sung Yun, Son Dong Pyo, Yi Han Gyo, Nam Do Hyun, Cha Jun Oh, Kang Woon Hee, and Yi Eun Sang as the X were to be the final group, which was a named X1. Within hours of the show ending and the lineup being announced, the fans calculated numbers based on the ones that were revealed during the finale of the show and showed that the votes were all multiples of 7,494.442, which is statistically highly unlikely. This spurred those to request answers from Mnet and wanting the truth. After all, these votes were paid for. Initially, Mnet refused to comment, only to later state that the numbers may not be accurate, but the rankings were the true rankings. This did not placate anyone, and a police investigation was called for, and a lawyer was even recruited to file a lawsuit. This spurred Mnet to cooperate with the police and asked for an investigation themselves. A first search and seizure occurred for the raw data, data of the votes. On August 12th, a second search and seizure occurred as the police felt that they needed more information. The second event led to the reveal of an audio file that seemed to confirm vote manipulation, not just of this season, but of all produce seasons. The ultimate result is that X1 is suffering from a lack of brand deals. Typically, produce groups will have brand deals lined up prior to the show completion, which will then be finalized shortly after the group roster is completed. However, the scandal has caused brands to rethink working with X1 as the scandal remains a hot topic. All the brand deals that X1 was supposed to have were stopped indefinitely until the Mnet scandal is resolved. X1 are the victims in this situation. They worked hard with the idea that there would be certain things waiting for them, and due to situations entirely out of their control, X1 are now the only people who are at a disadvantage. Other contestants within the top 20 have gotten calls from brands or even secured brand deals themselves, while X1 have become stigmatized simply because they are the result of Produce X101. Through this, Mnet is not the one suffering when they should be the ones, since they are responsible for the entire situation. As a one it who really loves X1, and I've seen how hard these guys have worked to get where they are, it's heartbreaking to see that X1 are being hindered from reaching the heights that they could 
and not having the advantages that other produce groups had. That said, it will make their success all the more bittersweet when they still manage to succeed despite things getting in their way. And I want to make it very clear that I do not fault the people who are seeking truth regarding the MNET rigging. I think that finding the truth is important so that things can move forward cleanly. Also, I note that it seems that despite there being a very vocal minority that are still pursuing the truth, and it appears that the general public agree with that truth should be found, the general public also seems to recognize and sympathize with X1 because they know it is not their fault. As such, I would hope that brands reconsider their stance of stepping away from X1. I know that I personally will not purchase anything from the brands that were supposed to have deals, but I can completely understand why they do not want to pursue. In the meantime, I truly hope that with X1 already trending regularly and making it onto the Billboard artist list, top emerging artist list, and the Social 50 that they can hopefully pick up an international brand endorsement deals in the meantime. There is also a fan project that will be launching soon to help promote X1 and help facilitate brand deals. It will be launching soon, but until then you can follow X1 Global on Twitter. But honestly, I really just think that X1 is the one who is suffering, but they're really pushing through. There's so much stress that has been put on these guys, and you can really see that it they know about what's going on and the sort of weight around everything that's happening, and it is weighing on them, and you can see that in their recent documentary series, their reality show, X1 Flash. You really understand the somberness, and you get this entire feeling of how they understand what's going on and really we shouldn't be faulting x1 these guys didn't ask for mnet to screw everything up for them and hopefully we'll be able to find some cfs and deals for them in the future and everything will work out for x1 because this is a really talented group and i can't wait to see how far they will go if you guys like this video please make sure you like it and if you'd like to see more videos from me make sure that you subscribe Bye.